take you to be here in your new podcast, Your Path to Become. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. And that's Lori Bird. That's mm -hmm. not pronounced. Because I usually beard like facial hair. I usually pronounce it wrong. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and you are an author, a speaker, and a life coach. You are also a mom for what I fish in your mm -hmm. <laughs> in your profile. And you have this passion to help families and empower women and moms to get a better version of herself. Right. So my question for you, you being also a member of the Church of Jesus Christ, it is how often um, do you, let me see if I, if I can put this right, how often do you see the women in your, your church do not reach their potential because they are so attached to thoughts that does not serve them? Mm -hmm. Well, at attached to thoughts that don't, don't serve them, I see women in the church, Christian women and women in general, they don't think they're enough. And because there's an idea or an illusion, right? It's an illusion. It's not something tangible. And I really love how one of our leaders say, um, Alberto, she says that there's no perfect member or perfect woman. And sometimes we have the standard and we, and we think somebody is just perfect because we think it, but it's an illusion. It's like fantasy. It's not real because you don't know, you don't, you see faces, but you don't see the heart and what's in their heart. Um, and maybe the person knows how to put on a good face, you know, on Sundays or when you see them, but they're, <laughs> <That's su> good. <laughs> but they're suffering inside or they have a lot of turmoil inside or problems inside that they're so confidential or so sad and that they don't need to talk about them, but they're not perfect either. And they don't have the per perfect life as we may, or they may see it. So then we compare. And that's another big mistake, oh right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we think yes. that we're not enough. And then we compare our, you know, and that is something that it's a trap if we fall into that. And that's why I think people are not living to their fullest potential because they're allowing other people as uh, image to weigh them down and think, oh, I'm never going to be able to do that. And they, so, and they fall the trap of the overwhelming feeling that yes. just make us 